To do the MCAF step test, first explain what the test is and what it entails. Then demonstrate the procedure for your client. Tell them to lead with their preferred foot and that this foot can be changed at the end of every stage. Make sure they fully plant their foot and keep their back nice and straight. And also instruct the client to remain motionless and standing on the ground at the end of each stage. Now have the client practice it no more than two times. You can also place a marker on the wall at eye level and instruct them to concentrate on it. This can help with balance. Now calculate 85% of their heart rate max. And do the math so that you know what a 10 second count should have. Now use the table to determine their starting stage. Note that on the MCAT disc, tracks 1 to 8 are for males and tracks 9 to 16 are for females. In this case, our starting stage is stage 4, so we select track 4. The test will now begin. This is stepping exercise stage 4 for men. Be prepared to step to the music. Five, four, three, two, one. Step, step, up, step, step, down, step, step, up. Step, At the end of this step, three minute stage, step, up, the disc two, will instruct three, us to take down, our client's heart rate. Two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, you will begin up, two, taking their heart rate when you hear the end of the word count, and you'll stop taking their heart rate when you hear the beginning of the word stop. Three, down, two, three. Stop exercising. Find your pulse. Ready and count. Stop. Check your score on the chart to see whether you can go on. This is stepping exercise stage five for men. Be prepared to step to the music. Five, four, three, two, one, step, step. In this case, because his heart rate was below the cutoff, he continued on to the next stage, stage six. Three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three. Stop exercising. Find your pulse. Ready and count. Again, take your client's heart rate at the end of this stage and have your client continue through these stages until their heart rate reaches the cutoff of 85% of their heart rate max. If your client is a male and they reach stage 7, or if your client is a female and they reach stage 8, then switch to the one-step procedure and continue until they reach 85% of their heart rate max. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Stop exercising. Find your pulse. Ready and count. In this case, our client reached his max heart rate cutoff at the end of stage 7. Therefore, the test is now complete. Stop. Check your score on the chart to see whether you can go on. Now use the client's final completed stage to determine their oxygen consumption, and then input that oxygen consumption into the formula below to calculate their estimated VO2 max.